Welcome to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out with Julie Caraccio. Every Tuesday at 1 p.m., Julie interviews experts on all areas of clutter, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. Learn easy-to-implement tips on how to release clutter and get organized to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. An award-winning professional organizer and coach, Julie also shares suggestions to help you live clutter-free for a more joyful and fulfilling life. Are you overwhelmed by clutter? Do you feel stuck in life? Are you ready to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire? Individual coaching and our unique clutter-free living mastermind support people in becoming free, moving forward, and achieving success. Learn more at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. In honor of spring and Earth Day, this month's bonus is a compilation of some of my favorite eco-organizing tips. These clips are from when I first started my business, then called Healing Through Organization, in 2009. I encourage you, anytime you are able to be green in organizing or clearing clutter, to do so. Every little bit adds up to a huge difference. Watch it on YouTube if you get a chance, as it makes for fun show and tell. Enjoy. My mom hates organization. I think she secretly wishes I would have become a professional chef or a fashion designer, something that would have been a lot more useful to her than a professional organizer. But then one day I said to her, hey mom, drink wine and get organized. Now what do I mean about that? Seriously, go out and buy a case of wine, enjoy it, and then when you're finished, repurpose the wine case to get organized. I currently have my Christmas ornaments. If they can keep those glass bottles of wine safe, you can guarantee that most items that you need to get organized will remain safe and unharmed in the container. They're also fantastic because the boxes are uniform, which makes it easy to stack. Also, 80% of us are visual, and so when you see that wine box and that color, you'll have a quick clue as to what's in store. But remember, don't forget to label. So whoever said organization was boring obviously didn't hang out with me. Remember, drink wine, get organized and have fun. But please, do not drink and organize. Hey everyone, here's your quick tip of the day. If you don't buy it, you don't have to organize it. Pretty simple, huh? Easier said than done. I know when I broke up with my boyfriend last summer, I personally kept Ben and Jerry's in business for the month of July and August. So, so buying a lot of things is a challenge to you. If you go to the mall and you just can't resist buying something, take a deep breath, ask yourself what's really going on here. Are you shopping because you're angry? Are you shopping because you're bored? There's always something else usually going on. Now, I'm not to say that you don't need to go out and buy things. They're definitely essentials that we all need. But take a step back. Ask yourself if you really need that item. Remember, if you don't buy it, you don't have to organize it. My mom asked me what I wanted for Christmas this year, and I thought about it. I said, you know what, Mom? I want new bedding. My bedding's 10 years old. I'll donate it to... I'll donate it to someone that needs it, but I'd really like new bedding. I'm single, I'm ready to find someone, and let's feng shui the bedroom and make it all groovy. So on the 23rd, when my mom has our annual dinner for my entire family, my Aunt Sally came over, and I said, Mom, it's a big box, big package. Please do not wrap it. If you want, put a bow on it. So it was there sitting under the tree. Now, what did my Aunt Sally say? Did she say, wow, you've got fantastic taste, or... Hey, that's really nice of your parents to get you that for Christmas. No, she said, so how are you going to repurpose that? If you think that I don't practice what I preach, no need to worry. My family is all over me. And I have to give hats off to Sally because when she said that, all the family was like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, Sally, the one person that reads my blog and all of my Facebook posts and listen to what I say. So, I thought about this item and how I'd repurpose it. So, I want to show it to you first. One of these huge plastic things. One of my pet peeves is you cannot recycle these. And if you can, and you know somewhere that will recycle them, please let me know. I will spread the word. I'll put it on my website. But they're really annoying. My hope is that Someday, some way, they're going to be able to make it out of corn, something that biodegrades. But all these plastic containers are a huge waste. There are tons of things that you can do with this. I was thinking about this particular case, which has, you can see in the back where it says bed skirt, and Shan's little pockets, that this would be a great 
item to take to the beach. You go put your towels, your suntan lotion, and then when you're done for the day, you can put your wet bathing suit in a little pocket so they don't get mixed up with everything else. That's just one solution. If you have extra blankets or extra bedding, that's a great place to store things. It's really great if you can repurpose and find something else instead of just pitching this because otherwise it's just going to sit in the landfill and buy it. So again, instead of going out and buying a new plastic container, you have this and it's something that you can use to help get organized and it's fantastic because it's clear, you can write on it with a sharpie. So remember, try to always repurpose something instead of just immediately pitching it. And, and no need to worry, my Aunt Sally will be on me, so if she sees something not green, she'll be sure to let me know. But of course I'd never do that because I'm too passionate about being green. Thanks for listening. Here's a very easy tip that's green, it's going to get you organized, and it's going to save you some money. According to earth911.com, which is a fantastic site for all things green and learning statistics and where you can recycle, 8 out of 10 plastic bottles end up in the landfill. Americans use 29.8 billion plastic bottles annually. Now, if you don't care about the earth, let's talk about how it can save you money. If you're buying plastic bottles, the site 2TAP, and that's D-A-C-K, the number 2, TAP, found that you're spending between $150 to $550 annually on plastic bottles. Now, it would cost you approximately $15 to $17 to find a really great BPA-free plastic bottle. So for $15, you're going to do the earth a favor as well as save yourself money. I have this great bottle about, with Camelback that's BPA free. I love it. They have come in all different colors. But having a water bottle is also a great tool for you to get organized. I'm a huge fan of color coordinating things, especially for children. 80% of us are visual. So if you get a child a blue water bottle, have their toothbrush blue, their towels blue, their gym bag blue, their backpack blue, and keep it all the same color, that's going to be easier when you're trying to get out in the morning, a visual clue for them to remember what's theirs and to not get confused with their brother and sister. So if you want to get organized and save yourself some money, consider getting a reusable, but make sure it's BPA free, water bottle. These things are great. They come in a variety of styles. And for a small investment, you'll not only save yourself money, but you also do something well for the environment and the polar bears will love you. Go out, clear some clutter to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. Are you overwhelmed by clutter? Do you feel stuck in life? Are you ready to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire? Individual coaching and our unique clutter-free living mastermind support people in becoming free, moving forward, and achieving success. Learn more at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. Thanks for tuning in to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out. Sign up for our newsletter and receive a free copy of 10 Clutter-Free Living Tips. Ready to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire? Learn about Julie's coaching, ebooks, online monthly decluttering classes, how to organize your life, office hours, and her unique clutter-free living mastermind at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. You can also watch all episodes on YouTube or download on iTunes and more. Join us next Tuesday at 1 p.m. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step.